cause uh, balance issues or unsteadiness. So uh, if you have ever felt a loss of balance or you felt a bit unsteady on your feet, and you um, you might have attributed it to say physical stress at work or you know mentally when you're stressed out maybe your mind is somewhere else and then you sort of trip over or lose your balance and you come back to regular balance and I mean there can be multiple reasons why you can lose your balance or feel unsteady on your feet however if you have neck pain and you also have balance issues, it is possible that it, I mean, one of the causes for your balance problems can be coming from your neck. This is especially true if your um, neck, that is your upper to mid cervical spine is affected. So I'll explain this further in the video. So if you have balance issues and you do have neck pain, this is a video that you probably wanna watch to understand how and where, uh, why this happens. And basically how and why cervical spine or neck problems can cause balance issues or unsteadiness. Alrighty, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Swati. I'm an executive mom power coach. I help moms of younger kids who work in high stress executive jobs to manage their spinal, that is back, neck or joint pains. Now I do this by giving you simple exercises, easy lifestyle changes, uh, tips, tricks, hacks, and some natural low toxin um, alternatives that I have used myself over the years and they have worked well for me. So, uh, and I give you all this in a nutshell, little chunks at a time so that you can incorporate this into your existing busy schedule. Hey, we are moms, we are busy people, right? All right, let's get back to can cervical spine or neck problems cause balance issues or unsteadiness. Now, yes, they can, but how it happens is in your cervical spine or your neck, you have seven vertebrae stacked on top of each other with the disc in between. Now, and then of course you have the muscle layer on top of that, um, on, of those uh, vertebrae. Now, when you look at, uh, out of the seven vertebrae, when you're looking at the upper part of your neck, so say from the hairline down, there are some muscles here which are known as suboccipital muscles. You don't need to be bothered about the name if you don't want to, but when you feel that tightness around your hairline, those are your suboccipital muscles. When they go into a spasm, you feel the tightness coming from behind your head. So these suboccipital muscles, there are um, roughly four groups of muscle there on the left and the right. However, the speciality of, this of these muscles and the reason we're talking about them is they have a large number of nerve endings uh, which are attached to proprioceptors. So, okay, hear me out on this. It's a big term, but basically proprioceptors are, uh, okay, let me simplify this. So if you have nerve endings sitting in those muscles and those nerves take the signals up into your brain, and they tell you where exactly you are in space. So for example, I'm sitting upright, but if I tilt towards one side here, my body has a few mechanisms which will tell it, okay, body's tilted to the right, and then it'll bring it back to the midline so that I don't fall off my chair. The same for any other position that you are in. Now, the, one of the mechanisms uh, obviously is in your ear, inner ear, your vestibular system, but we're not going into that. The other mechanism is proprioceptors or those nerve endings that tell uh, your brain where you are in space. That is uh, the definition of proprioception. So when these muscles have, they are, they are very rich in these nerve endings. Basically, they have a lot of these nerve endings. So like your ankle ligaments, they have a lot of these ner nerve endings or proprioceptors, your knees as well. So when your ankle is going off balance, that is how your brain tells uh, your ankle muscles, say you are with your ankle, you're rolling outwards. The brain will tell the inner part of the ankle um, or the foot muscles to pull your foot back in so that you have a stable foot and you don't fall over. All right. So I think I've explained that enough. So because there is a multiple uh, there are multiple nerve endings in those suboccipital muscles now what happens is when you have pain or you have a muscle spasm in these in these muscles because of 
n number of reasons. It could be a disc bulge, it could be degeneration, it could be arthritis, it could be stenosis, it could be tumors, it could be any number of reasons. But because of that problem, that pathology that's going on, your muscles go into a spasm. When they go into a spasm, it sends this signal up to your brain. And basically, it's like it's sending these multiple incorrect signals to your brain and your brain feels um, you feel that imbalance right so you feel that you're falling off or you feel a bit unsteady so this is the mechanism behind why and how your cervical spine problems can lead to unsteadiness or loss of balance now a very quick note on how do you manage this so Base, you manage the basic cause of this muscle spasm and thus address the unsteadiness or loss of balance. So if suppose I have a disc bulge and because of the bulge, I'm getting this muscle spasm. So then I'm going to address the bulge. Of course, your doctor is going to give you medication, but there are n number of things you can do on your own to address the muscle spasm in that area and to address your neck pain. Once you sort that out, of course, the secondary effect is the unsteadiness that should reduce use automatically. Now, if you're looking for some simple solutions to manage your neck pain, I have done a free training in my community. Of course, it's a free community. I will leave a link in the description of this video for my community. And if you're watching me on Instagram, the link is in my bio. You can join my community and you will have lifelong access to these trainings that I have done, out of which one of them is this neck pain training. Right now, we are in the middle of a training on uh, how to manage your cervicogenic headaches. So same thing in your upper cervical spine. When you have problems, it can lead to one sided or two sided headaches, which are known as cervical or cervicogenic headaches. So there are lots of trainings in that free group. So feel uh, in my free community. So feel free to join that. And I hope this has been useful for you. It gives you a bit of clarity as to why and what is happening if your neck pain is actually causing that unsteadiness or loss of balance. If you have any comments, any questions, please drop them below this video and I will address them for you.